Hey you guys, and I'm going to try not to be so rambly in this video like I was in the last one. I seem to be really rambly, rambly, rambly today, but that could be because I'm cold and I'm trying to keep warm. And <laughs> So anyway, welcome to another book haul. I know at this point you guys are just like, Geisha, seriously, I, I think you may have a problem, but I do. I have a problem. <laughs> it's called eBay. This is just like all from eBay. All, all eBay. I think the next couple of book hauls you'll see there come exclusively from eBay. There will probably be one. One from Amazon. That's it. eBay. I found a lot of good deals and I'm just like, oh god, stop. But my hand, it has a mind of its own. I swear. <laughs> so, these first two books actually I got for free from the seller. And you'll probably see why afterwards. But um, the first book that I got for free was The Eternal Sea by Angie Fraser. Yes, and I'm going to read the inside flap real quick. 17-year-old <clears throat> Camelia Rowan never imagined her last sea voyage would change her life. She didn't expect her father to die in a shipwreck or to have to put her marriage to distinguish Randall Jackson on hold. And she definitely didn't expect to fall in love with the handsome and fiery first mate Oscar Ken. Dar. But it is the discovery of Umadu, an ancient enchanted stone with the power to bring back the dead that throws Camellia's life into a dangerous tailspin. When an adversary for the stone kills Asgard, Camellia's heart chooses to bring him back instead of her father. While she is heartbroken by the loss of her father, she is looking forward to her new life with Oscar. Now, before the couple's impending return to San Francisco, Oscar is acting secretive and cold. He announces he is going to Egypt in search of the Umadun sister stone, but he's going alone. Despite the perilous journey that will take her into the underworld and Oscar's painful dismissal of her, Camille is determined to go with him, but so is Randall Jackson. Randall arrives in Australia just in time to join her, Oscar, and Camille's brother, Samuel, aboard the magnificent Eclipse. Captain by the mysterious Lionel Starbuck. While Oscar avoids Camille and Randall proves himself to be a formidable rival, Camille must constantly remind herself that she's in love with Oscar. Or is she? What will she face and risk in Egypt? And when the reason behind Oscar's action is revealed, how will Camille's heart choose this time? It sounded really good, huh? I don't know why I suddenly did all those voices. It was a little too dramatic, but I seem to be really hyper today. But anyway, I'm going to read the back of this as well. Did you really believe one resurrection was all the stone had to offer? Did you think you could walk away from such a gift without having to pay for it? Yes, Camille thought. She, yes, she had. But now she knew the truth. The soul brought back from the dead came at a steep price. And it cost more than she had ever bargained for. So yeah, that sounds really good. And actually, apparently there is a sequel and it is called Everlasting that I started reading the synopsis before I figured out that this was actually a sequel to it. <laughs> but yeah, I actually got those two for free. And I actually bought two different lots from this seller. And the first one that I'm going to show you is Lockdown by Alex Gordon Smith. And I've been wanting to read this book for so very long. And I'm so finally glad to have my hands on it. And I actually already started it. And I'm on page 80 right now. And I'm going to read the inside flap. <clears throat> Beneath heaven is hell. Beneath hell is a furnace. Furnace Penitentiary is the world's most secure prison for young offenders. Buried a mouth beneath the earth's surface, Alex Soria is a new fish. Convicted of a murder he didn't commit, sentenced to life without parole, he knows he has two choices. Find a way out or resign himself to death in the darkness at the bottom of the world. Except in furnace, death is the least of his worries. The prison is a place of pure evil where inhuman creatures and gas masks stalk the corridors at night, where giants in black suits drag screen inmates into the shadows where deformed beasts can be heard howling from the blood drenched tunnel below escape is alex's only option but it's not just about saving his own skin the more he discovers the more he understands that he is going to have to do whatever it takes to expose this nightmare hidden from the eyes of the world and i have been wanting to do this for like a while so i'm really really happy to finally have it and found it and also in that same lot there came death sentence and solitary and then fugitive i believe there's going to be one more book after this and then i think it's going to be done so i'm really happy about all that so i uh, party up here because it was on a whim that i even looked that up i think i can't remember exactly how i found this seller but the next book that i got from the seller two books 
and it is Ashes by Lisa J. Bick. And I've also been wanting to read this for a while. And lately, whenever I hold this book, I've just been doing this because this is all rays. And it is an awesome cover. I love it. And I'm just going to read the inside flap. It could happen tomorrow. And electromagnet pulse flashes across the sky, devastating every electronic device, wiping out every computerized system and killing billions. Alex hiked into the woods to say goodbye to her dead parents and her personal demons. Now, desperate to find out what happened after the pulse crushed her to the ground, Alex meets up with Tom, a young soldier, and Ellie, a girl whose grandfather was killed by the EMP. For this improvised family and the others who are spared it is now a question of who can be trusted and who is no longer human so that is great and with the other one i read the back of this too the air was a welter of odors ella's fear that cherry sweet stench her own peculiar perfume of sweat and anxiety and that dead meat stink that billowed through the woods like ashy gray smoke slowly carefully alex dropped her knees the cold earth biting through her hiking pants Ella didn't move a muscle. Wordlessly, Alex followed the girl's horrified gaze, and then her blood turned to slush. No, she thought. No, please, God. I'm not seeing this. So this sounds really good, and it is seems really long. And part of the reason I decided to go with this slot is because ha, it is a signed copy, this one. And it's basically brand new, so ha, loved it. And I also got the second book. And it is called Shadows by Lisa J. Bick. They actually changed the cover scheme <laughs> during uh, <laughs> the second and third book, I believe. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. I like, the, I like both, actually, so I don't really mind it as much. But I saw the paperback for this one, and it has, like, this kind of theme. It has ashes on it, except that it's all yellow and stuff, I believe. So, I mean, both big books. So, can't wait to start reading those. And that's all I got from that seller. <laughs> and then, from this other seller, I got <coughs> Nightshade by Andrea Creamer. So, yay, that is a whole bunch of fun. Um, and this follows this girl, and I believe she is a wolf in this pack. And she uh, has this destiny already kind of mapped out. She's supposed to marry this guy. They're supposed to be alpha and... They're supposed to rule the pack together until she stumbles upon this human and everything she knows may change and she finds out secrets and stuff. And I've heard a lot about the series, so I was really finally glad to get my hands on it, even though it was in paperback. I really did want them in hardcover, but for the price on eBay, I was just like, it was worth it. And I believe the second one is Wolf Spain and then Blood Rose. So yeah, I got all three of those. Plus, I got rift by her and this is a prequel 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 series to this one and this one sounds really interesting and i'm gonna read the inside flap uh for those of you who want me to read it which is why i waited to last just in case some of you who don't want to know the prequel you didn't have to but yeah so if you guys have read any of these books just tell me i would love to know what your opinions on them are especially this one since i had never heard of it before um <laughs> And tell me what books you guys got in recently or what guys you're planning to buy lately or you guys waiting until after the holidays to actually buy any books. <laughs> I really need to start doing that. But anyway, I will see you guys later and I'm just going to read you out. <laughs> Ember Morrow was promised to the Knights of Contus at birth. Her life traded for her mother's. So when the horsemen come for her soon after her 16th birthday, Ember is not surprised. What does surprise her, though, is the magic the knights wield, the demons they hunt, and the feelings she has for Barrow, Hess, the, power man, the powerful man she serves. When the knights realize the one among them is dabbling in dark magic, danger heightens, and Ember must choose whether to follow the path of, to darkness or to escape the order and pledge her life to destroying her fellow knights. With action, adventure, magic tantalizing sensuality this breathtaking prequel to the nightshade series delves into the history of bosk ma and the origin of the rift between the keepers and the searchers so that sounds really interesting i kind of almost want to read this one first so maybe i'm not sure especially since i'm pretty sure there's going to be more books in this series and <laughs> yeah so 
that is all that I got. So, yeah, just tell me which ones you have read. If you haven't read them, you liked them, you hated them. What books you plan on getting. And I'm going to stop babbling now and go put on a jacket. Because it's cold and my fingers are freezing. I'll see you guys later. So, bye. <gasps>